All right, well, I got clear tape on the wood to help make it easier to pull off these stickers, which I printed up with um, package labels for uh, sending packages. And okay, so got them on there, organized. Next step is to cut these out. Okay, so now I'm going to cut them out individually. I use laminate floor scrap piece underneath the saw. It kind of raises the piece up so I get a sharper part of the blade, and it also keeps really small pieces from falling through. Oops, well, it looks like I broke a blade. So pull that one out, start again. Well, you can see on here that uh, for the blower, I've added a little piece of aluminum tubing to extend it so it doesn't blow on my lap, it blows behind. This is my um, saw that uses the pin blades. It wasn't real easy to use the unpinned blades on this one, so I just um, keep it for the rough cuts. And okay, I gotta do a couple of drills. To uh, I'm gonna do this so the D pops up, but since the D has this enclosed area, I've gotta make it so that the middle part pops down. So I've got my drill press slanted at about five degrees, and what happens is, when you cut out something with the scroll saw, if you were to cut with the blade straight up and down, um, like I was just doing, um, the, the letters or the, the things you cut out, they'll fall straight down. But now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting at a five degree angle. So as I do this cut all the way around this, it's going to um, not, well, the letter will still fall down, but since the, the angle I'm going, the letter will be allowed to fall up, kind of like this. So you see here how it pushes in now if it was just straight if this was a straight cut that J would have come all the way out it's this side you can probably tell it's a little bit wider than the front is and so that allows it to pop forward and that's the effect I'm going for so I drill these five degrees to get the the, the blade in so the arrow I put on there that just it's a reminder for me so when I put it onto the saw I need to do my, when I stick the blade in, I gotta cut this direction first. Um, so, and I'm now I'm gonna do the inside. Now when I do the inside, I need this part, the inner part of the D has to fall in. So I'll be cutting it in this direction. In fact, trying to hide it as best I can right there. So let's see, that should let it, yeah, fall down. Let's see here. So I'll mark the direction of this cut has to go. I gotta go that way. And let's turn it on. Let's do it. Okay, back to the saw. So I've got two scroll saws on you, and this this one, the skill, is my rough cut. It's for I'm using it just for the outside cuts, and then it can be rough. Over here, this is the saw that I use, this Dremel, for doing the real precise and inside cuts. And so I'll be doing that one. It's got a, I can put a very thin blade on this one. While this is going on, in order to keep dust down, oh, a little bumpy there, sorry. I've got very, I got a small little shop vac. Depending upon which tool, I got a great big dust collector there. And then I just move the leads around to um, be able to keep the dust away. And I have a fan that blows the dust away from me. Oh, and also up here I have a fan with a um, screen in front of it, the uh, filter for air conditioning to keep that. Oops, I almost forgot. Uh, the table right now is flat, um, or, you know, no angle on it. So I'm going to change this to five degrees. There we go. Okay, well, about five. This doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, we'll get this threaded in and get started. So this particular gift is going to be for a lady named Donna. She is the manager of the kitchen at our school, and she keeps our kids fed and keeps us fed, and and um, so just a little something to say thank you to her. Okay, so now we'll get to that. This is okay. I'll put this in to blow the dust away. All right, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so now take this out. Whoops. 
headsets. Get them out of the way. Okay, so now the way that this will work is, is um, this, because of the angle, it'll fall in, and the D will, I like to say, fall up, rise up. But then when we end up, we get this nice little 3D effect. Oh, huh, I guess in this case it's 4D. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, I decided to put a C in here so that for Donna, so that it will have a kind of like a monogram with her first initial and last name initial. Okay, so I just came back from the scroll saw where I cut out the C. Oh, and I put, to hold it easier, I put taped it to the, the D so that it was just a bit easier to manipulate it. Okay, so let's see. So now what will happen is put all the parts in. Inside of the D falls down, the C should go up. You do that. And so now, all right, so there we go. That'll be, let's get it sanded and polished. I really like using the removable labels. It makes it easier to come off, but I can't always get those. So I'll put a layer of the clear tape underneath. And let's see, and then I'll use, I've been using water-based varnish because it's just easier and I can get it done in a hurry and I don't have to worry about cleanup. Okay, didn't have time to fill the little hole there and there. Hopefully just the artist sees the flaws, but time to varnish. First coat. <laughs> 